Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. You've reached Sincerely Tracy, where I do whatever I want on this channel, but mostly I do recaps and reviews. Tonight is going to be a review. I'm just going to say what I want to say about this movie and move on with my day. I hope you guys enjoy it. First of all, I watched the movie One Love. They big this movie up so much. They gave it so much advertising and they made it seem like this was going to be a movie based on Bob Marley's life. It even says in the trailer based on Bob Marley's life. When I tell you guys that because the family had a huge hand in this movie, they sanitized Bob's life so much you would have thought this man was Jesus the Christ walking the earth. This man was human. And I promise you, if he were living, he would have wanted his true story told. I don't know him. But I know in my own life, if I was having a biopic done about myself, I don't want you to just include the good stuff. Show people that I'm human, that I make mistakes, that I've made some errors in life. No, they, Rita, much respect to you, ma'am. But, and Ziggy, much respect to you too, because you did your thing. But... Um, and I say d did your thing as far as um, holding on to your father's legacy, letting the music, you know, your brand of music stretch out the legacy even more. That's what I mean. And with Rita, she held on to the legacy of Bob and his music and all that. And I respect that a lot. I am not trying to say that I don't respect that. But when I tell you that I did not expect for you to just say, you know what, we're going to jump and in and out of his childhood not really do it in chronological order, which they never do in movies that I cannot stand because I really don't know for sure. I will be diagnosed soon. But for somebody that has ADHD that I believe I have ADHD, for you to be bouncing all over the place, it makes it very confusing for me to understand what you're trying to tell in this story. So I was expecting them to start from when he was a baby, go on to when he was a, you know, a youth move up to when he was a teen, but no, they bounced back and forth between when he was very little, like looked like he was about six years old, then they bounced to when he was a teen, then they bounced back to when he was an adult, and it was extremely confusing. I hate when movies do that. Now, when they started the movie, he was already a full-grown adult. He was already at the height of success. We didn't get to see, we only got to see very small snippets of when he was like auditioning for, Co for Coxon, um, at his uh, record label and they did simmer down I believe they did the song simmer down with and um, one of the people was supposed to be Peter Tosh but they didn't they didn't let him say any lines they didn't really give him much part do you know how big a part Peter Tosh played in freaking the Whalers and Bunny like they they gave them bit parts as if they were just insignificant characters in Bob's story and that was not fair and, and obviously I know a lot about Bob Marley I know a lot about Peter Tosh and I can tell you right now I can tell you Peter Tosh's entire story right now that's how well versed I am I told you guys I don't know if you know this I'm sorry I'm very passionate right now I'm mad as hell I just watched this movie yesterday so I'm still on fire OK, I'm still on fire. I remember what I what I what I saw. I was going to sit here and take eight hours and do a full recap. But now I just realized for this channel, I don't think that's what y'all want all the time. I think y'all like when I keep it brief sometimes. So we're going to keep it brief. I'm actually laying down. Let me get up. But when I tell you that I expected so much more from this movie. And this is why, guys, you cannot watch these trailers and be like, oh, this is going to be a great movie. Obviously, that's the reason why we watch the movie. We're hoping that the pieces that we see of that trailer come across in the movie. When I tell you guys they started when he was already successful, that pissed me off. Then him and Rita ended up getting into an argument outside of some kind of party, right? It would look like to be an industry. It looked to be some type of industry party. I don't know why I can't say the word industry without speaking slow, but I'm really sorry. But anyway, they got out there and they threw out that Rita was cheating on Bob and Bob was out here with all these different women having all these different babies, but you showed us nothing. You didn't show us with him meeting Cindy Breakspear. You didn't show us with him having any of these kids, when we came to the damn movie, the kids were already born. Like, <laughs> like what is going on? That's not how you tell a story. That's not how you do a biopic. 
All of the actors were freaking amazing. And that's why I'm upset. They didn't really get a good script, in my opinion. Um, Kingsley Benadire. I kept seeing complaints that, oh, he doesn't look like Bob. He, do- he doesn't have to look like Bob. When I looked at Kingsley Benadire, I saw Bob Marley. And this is from a fan who's been a fan of Bob Marley music for as long as I can freaking remember. Okay. And by the way, at the end of the movie, they play the entire song. My favorite entire song is this love. That is my favorite Bob Marley song. They played the whole song and I wanted to cry. I literally sat there at the, at the credits and sang the whole song. But y'all got to stop. And I'm not going to blame the young people because it could just be a personality thing. You got to stop thinking because a celebrity or someone you do not know looks like someone that they'll automatically be good in a biopic because they have to be able to act. Um, I always think of Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, he did Ray. And, you know, Jamie Foxx played Ray Charles Jamie Foxx doesn't look like Ray Charles, but when I watched Jamie Foxx in Ray, to me, he was Ray Charles. So it's all about your performance. He did an amazing freaking job. His lip syncing was on point. I know I heard them say that he sang a couple of the songs for real in real life. I would love to hear how he sounds in real life because I promise you, I could not tell that he was not singing. Now in the movie, I like that they showed the parts of them being the creative process. And then I'm like, oh, I'm here. Oh, I know what song they're about to sing. I know what song they're about to play. If you are a huge Bob Marley fan, obviously they're going to play almost all of his songs in the movie. So like Redemption Song, I love that song. Could This Be Love, Three Little Birds, which came out in 1977 when I was born. And a a lot of different songs, you're going to love it. You're going to freaking love it. But when I watch a biopic about an artist, I don't just want to hear their music. I'm here for their story, okay? I'm here for their story. Now, I'm sorry I'm not on camera for you guys, but you know what? I just felt like doing this video as a voiceover. You guys can just put this on, go wash dishes. Uh, Give me your opinion on what you thought about the movie. I feel like people are asking where they can watch this movie. If you have Paramount Plus, One Love is playing on Paramount Plus right now. Go watch it, please. It is an hour and 47 minutes long and nine seconds, so... If you have almost two hours to spend in your night, go watch it for yourself. Do not just take my word for it. But I was very disappointed. The costuming was amazing. Who got these wigs? Where where did you guys get these wigs from? These wigs were freaking amazing. You cannot tell me that Kingsley and a lot of these other characters did not grow that Afro hair. It looked freaking amazing. And Tyler Perry can take some tips from this darn movie. I mean, their costuming was freaking great. The acting was superb. The storyline could have been better. You guys could have started when he was a little bit younger. You could have gave us a little more detail. I understand you didn't want to tarnish Bob Marley's legacy, but there is nothing you guys could have put in this movie that would have made me look at Bob Marley any differently. I already knew that he had multiple baby mamas. I already knew he had a lot of different children. I already knew that he was getting in the middle of this political thing. Although he said that he wasn't, he was getting in the middle of this political thing, doing these um, concerts. I know he was not a perfect man and I didn't expect to see a perfect man in this movie, but to see the sanitized, crystal clear, transparent, you know, he had no depth in this movie. You guys... This is the reason why a lot of people would prefer to watch a documentary by people who are not family, by people who have unauthorized biographies, because someone who has no stake in a person, someone who has no emotions connected to a celebrity is going to tell you the truth about their story. They're not going to try to water it down the way this movie did. Okay. anyway, I have braces. I just got them tightened and they hurt and I'm tired of talking. But anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.